<laughs> oh, I love this thing. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, that's not good landing. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Traction Channel for another brand new video and I am a very very happy boy today because once again I am going to be playing Motorsport Games Kartcraft. I'm going to be showing you the new content that was released for this game towards the end of October. It's all completely free, you will already have it on Kartcraft, so make sure you go and update the game and give it a go for yourself. It looks really really cool, so I am very much looking forward to getting stuck into it and showing you guys what it's all about and we might also have some bonus content at the end, a little secret for you guys that you can also find within this game, so I'll say no more. I promise you, you should stick around to the end. Let's jump in. So the first piece of new content is Brenta Monte Circuit, which is an Italian kart circuit. It's apparently nestled away in the mountain ranges of northern Italy. The picturesque Brenta Monte Circuit is the birthplace of the emerging kart cross series and a favourite among local drivers. You guys can read the rest, but did you hear the word kart cross? If you look at the vehicle class here, we have a new class which is Kart Cross. Now these things are like buggies based on uh, cross carts I believe, but cross carts themselves race on dirt tracks. Now obviously on Kartcraft we just have tarmac kart tracks, but the cars are very awesome looking. They look like so much fun, they make a lot of noise, and I think on Kartcraft this is going to be spectacular. This is what the Kart Cross buggy looks like by the way, and it's just raw racer through and through. Absolutely love that. We've got slick tires as well, so it's going to be grippy. I'm so excited. Here we are then, you can see we're surrounded by trees, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous landscape. Let's hit drive and get underway. Oh. Listen to that. I've already invalidated my lap. Okay, out of the pit lane. So we're going to start off, looks like we've got a right hand hairpin. Put my foot down, oh my goodness this thing takes off. <laughs> I didn't look up any of the stats in terms of power or weight, but I can imagine it's not much weight and I can imagine it's a lot of power. You've got a lift off to change gear as well on the brakes. Ah! Oh. I'm trying to think about the track, but I'm distracted so much by this cart. Great little circuit as well. Through another right hander. It looks like we're already around to the start line, so it's a pretty short lap. Only 40 seconds on that first run out of the pits. Try and get up to speed a little bit. I think we should start off talking about the vehicle itself because that's really what's grabbing my attention straight away. The thing sounds incredible. It's got a huge amount of acceleration, but it's so forgiving compared to the other carts in the game. You've got suspension, you've got a little bit of softness and a bit of play in the steering, and it means you can actually slide it around a bit. You don't need to stick to the line and be as smooth as possible. You can really give it a bootful and slide it through the corners. And I can tell this after only two or three laps. Like I'm already feeling like I'm connected to this thing. In a little bit deep, get the power early, see if I can really slide it. Ugh. It's tricky when you're really on the edges of grip, but that was just me being a hooligan. See if we can get a nice lap in here. Oh, I'm a bit too wide through that corner. Keep it nice and tight. Uh, dab at the power too early. It's such a short track as well, I will get onto that shortly. Can't even speak. I'd be very interested to see how this thing's set up, because obviously, you know, there are only tarmac cart circuits in this game at the moment, no dirt tracks, but because this thing normally races on dirt, I wonder, I mean, I'm sure they will have done a default setup that's kind of built for tarmac. I mean, it, feel, it feels so good. Oh, I love this game. What an epic little circuit as well. It's beautifully flowing. It's almost like a street circuit for carts as well because you've got walls on either side. Now, most of the tracks are a lot more open. Well, that was good through there. On the power. Oh, this is so much fun. I could sit here all day. 31.6 is the lap time at the moment. Bit wide in there, but we'll cut back on the throttle. Make this thing scream, struggling for grip all the way through. So through the first corner, you kind of want to keep it nice and tight. Get over to the left if you can. It wasn't great on this particular lap. You've got to be a bit patient on the throttle out of there. Keep it again to the right through this kink and on the brakes for this left-hander. I'm not getting the most out of this thing at all yet, but... Run it out wide towards the wall again. Just keep remembering to lift your foot off the throttle every time you change gear. That's something I'm still not quite into. That one's a little bit more open, so you can get away with a bit more speed. And again, you're kind of turning over now. This is probably the fastest corner. Medium speed right, and then this one's a little bit sharper at the end, but it's so nice and smooth, and loads of space to really give it a bit full on the exit. 31.5. Definitely room for improvement. Probably can do a 30. Oh, 
Oh, nice through there. This is just putting such a big smile on my face. I cannot believe how nice this is. There it is, 31, 0 0.63. I reckon there's a 30 in there. I've put it in the wall, but I'm, I'm honestly shocked. Like, I, I thought Cartcraft was already a huge amount of fun. And maybe it's because I'm more of a car person than a cart person. I also don't think I can reverse. Because I'm more of a car person than a cart person, maybe this thing suits me more in terms of my driving style. But for me, this has taken the enjoyment of the game to a new level. So, happy days. Seriously though, can I? this thing doesn't have reverse, does it? Now, I want to try a race around this track. And unfortunately, we can't yet do a race with AIs with cart cross. So, we're going to go for X30. We're going to go 15 drivers, 8 laps and hard difficulty this time, because last time was on medium, and I feel like more of a challenge. Okay then, let's give this race a go. <coughs> Already made contact. Just the standard. Okay, I really enjoyed the circuit, but will I enjoy it in this cart, in the X30? We've got no gears in this one. Be interesting to see what kind of lap times we do, relative to the cart cross. It's been a good start though, around the outside, and we're up into the top 10 already. Oh, it's so much more stiffly set up. All about momentum. I've got carts all over the back of me. I've been spun out. How rude are they? Right, I have no idea who that was, but... Oh, someone's in the wall. Sorry, Anthony. But I am now on a mission. It does feel like I'm just not driving it quite right yet. Up behind Gary, we'll take this corner. This is a fast corner, isn't it? And take a sweeping line through here, carry the momentum. And then we're going to go to the outside here because they lift a little bit. There we go. Move done. Back into line. 12th place. Oh. Gary's back down the inside. Oh, they're so slow in there. I've made a little bit of a move. The usual wheel shake that's not even deliberate. And we're up into 11th place. Right, come on. Hi, carry lots of speed through here. Too much speed. And we'll go out, outside to inside again. There we are. That's the move. Slow it down enough here. Get focus on the exit. Power down early. Nice. That's into 9th place. Oh, which way will I go? Start on the outside. Cut to the inside. Oh, what a move. Oh, we're three wide. And I just didn't get the run out the corner. Can we go around the outside? Yes. We'll go for a wee. Stay around the outside. Oh, nice move. This is a really good track to race on. This is, this is the best race I've had on Cartcraft, full stop. Not just in terms of enjoyment, but also in terms of how good the AI race you as well. Like, this is a really, really fun, clean race. Oh, I've got Zach Griffin up in sixth. Let's go get him. You can see, by the way, the lap times. You've got a best time there of 34.1, optimal 33. So they are slower than cart cross. Let's see if I can get a clean lap in. I can maybe take that time down a little bit. That's already a little bit better. Okay, unfortunately, cat caught up with David right towards the end of the lap. So I didn't get a full clean one in, but it is a 32. I might just try the outside move again on David here because I know I can carry more speed through here than the AI. Oh, scary wall, wall, no, wall, oh no. I can't reverse. Help. Okay, the marshals have got me going again, and I'm down to 14th, but I'm not last. Oh, thank you, thank you, yep, yeah, thank you. Oh, maybe I am last. Oh no. Do you know, at least I've got fastest lap, that's something. Right, let's try and take this corner flat out. Nope, not gonna happen. Well, I mean, it's been a bit of a clumsy finish to the race, to say the least, but, you know, in my head, I'm going to class that as a spiritual seventh place. Look at the winner, cheering away, Paolo Di Conto, well done. The track was just epic, like, so good for racing, side-by-side -side battles, the corners are nice, you can overtake, you can undercut, really, really good stuff, and it looks pretty as well, and, I mean, the cart, wow, epic stuff. Really nice to have a softer cart as an option as well, so you can throw it about a bit more. I think car fans will love this more than the carts themselves, but obviously everyone's going to love it. You know, it's so much fun. It's just such a shame there isn't a dirt track to have a play with this on yet. Or is there? I'm going to load up Genk, which was the last circuit to be added to the game, and we're going to jump in our cart cross. So I'm smashing it around Genk, and as you can see, this is a nice wide open cart track. Tarmac, curbs, invalidations, all the usual stuff you enjoy on Cartcraft. So as I'm coming into the last sector, coming around the second last corner, I'm I'm gonna go to the pit lane. Now we don't often have to pit in this game, we normally just reset back, but oh look, there's a nice wee paddock area, and oh there's a nice gap in the fence. We're gonna take a drive through here. And I'm in a lovely car park. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. 
There seems to be an entrance to the car park here. Let's let's head over here. Oh wait a minute. There's a gap in the fence. And here we are in the beautiful outskirts of Cart Genk. Now, oh, what's up this hill? Let's have a look. Is that a dirt track? Now, obviously, as I sit here, you can see I'm on slick tires, okay? So clearly this is not, you know, something I could really get the most out of. But I am on a dirt track on the outskirts of the Genk circuit, and I'm in the buggy. So why don't I take a drive and see what it's like? So we're going to take a drive along this dirt road and see what we've got. So it looks like we've already got a nice big jump. Not going to push too much through here. But you can feel, this is dirt, you know, this cart doesn't have as much grip. If I nail the throttle, it slides around. Now, big jump coming up here. I'm just going to take it nice and easy. And then we turn left and we're into a forest. And this is already a pretty cool circuit. Break nice and early just to watch out for the lack of traction. And we've got this left-hander and look at this another wee jump this one probably not as high speed tricky landing we've got a tight right hand hairpin give it a bit full listen to that thing scream back towards the circuit you can have a nice wee spectator view i've run a bit wide thinking about being a spectator over another jump this one's straight on and then we've got a 90 degree left-hander a bit full of power when you can get the grip, this thing really does take off, but on this dirt track, you never really get the grip. Just enough where you can slide it, and that, yeah, that was deliberate. I'm just doing some donuts. Yep. Straight along here, a little bit of a slam, and we've got a big jump. Should we attack it? Oh, no. Two nose heavy. I've actually landed okay, though. And we're back into the woods again. This is a full-on circuit. Through the forest. Another left-hander couple left-handers and round we are and as I spin there is a dirt track on the outskirts of Genk how awesome is that and it's so easy to get to you guys have got to try this get jump in this buggy give it a try it's gonna be so difficult with the slick tires to really carry any speed that you're just gonna have to use the throttle to swing it around it's gonna be tricky to land the jumps oh, a bit wide through there give it a bit full to get it around correct the slides Oh, I love this thing. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, that's not a good landing. Oh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And that's it, guys. So you can drive on a dirt circuit now in Cartcraft. Now, this, I mean, this track is basically a full track, right? It feels good. Imagine having dirt tires in this thing. It would be awesome. We'll do some celebratory donuts. And that's your lot. Wow. I... Cartcraft just keeps on delivering and there's even aspects of it that I had no idea about so yeah absolutely epic so much fun well that is going to be it for me today but just a reminder that Brenta Monte Circuit and Kart Cross are both available right now on Cartcraft so go and get them downloaded they're totally free and you can have a shot at this too and also you know where to find it if you want some dirt to have a go on um, and hopefully Cartcraft will release some proper dirt tracks in the future to go with the car I don't know about that but that would be really really cool Thank you so much as always for watching and make sure you make sure make sure you make sure you subscribe subscribe to the channel for more content like this and more content not like this. Also leave a like if you enjoyed it and of course leave a comment with your favorite things about Carcraft because I love the game and the more I hear about it the better. Take care. Thanks for watching. Keep it pinned and have a great day.